A lot of you are in launch mode. You're putting products out into the world and just crossing your fingers thinking, okay, just I'm sure hundreds of thousands of people are gonna flood in and I'm gonna get tons and tons of orders. You launch the product and nobody shows up, right? That's the story we hear a lot as entrepreneurs. However, tonight's guest, Nama Bloom, who's the founder of HelloFlow, responsible for the viral ad, Camp Gyno, is on tonight to talk about the complete opposite story, putting something out into the world and finding out that over 5 million people are interested in finding out more. So make sure that you stay tuned through the entire 30 minutes and tweet using YFE chat. everyone I'm your host I'm Jennifer Dono and you're watching the live stream that happens every Thursday night here at 6 p.m. Pacific 9 Eastern called YFE chat live on young female entrepreneurs and tonight's topic is all about viral videos marketing to women and how to package your services so it fits the audience that you're marketing to in the first place or that you're serving and our guest is Nama Bloom she is the founder of hello flow which I'm sure all of you have watched by now Camp Gyno. If you're watching live, you already saw the ad a few times. Uh, at Corey Freeman is on the chat commenting that that was the weirdest five minutes of her life. <laughs> it's funny, when you watch the ad at first, it is kind of like, oh my gosh, what just happened? <laughs> Especially when she holds up Dora. <laughs> anyway, if you haven't watched it yet, we'll make sure that we link to it all over the place at this video. But Namazan, she's going to talk to us again about how the video came to be, what's happened since, and where she's really going with HelloFlow in the future. And so before we get started, I wanted to, of course, thank our sponsors, one of which is Ovali TV. Ovali TV hosts and produces live video events built to meet your objective. Visit ovali.tv to request a free 30-minute consultation today to find out more about going live with your brand. And MailChimp. MailChimp's the best way to design, send, and share email newsletters. You can get started today for free at MailChimp.com. And hopefully you guys have signed up for our MailChimp newsletter. Um, not that we send out a newsletter about MailChimp, but we send out using MailChimp. If you go to yfe.me slash mailed it, you can <laughs> sign up for our newsletters. Um, I try and send personal emails from me telling you what's going on in the week. And um, I give personal shout outs at Corey Freeman. Specifically, if you're on here, it was her birthday. She turned 21 this week. She's someone that shows up every week for YFE chat. We gave you a happy birthday shout out in that email. Uh, so anyway, hopefully you guys will sign up for that. Um, but before we bring on Nama, I just wanted to give a couple little announcements. Um, if you haven't signed up yet for Bootstrap Book Club, make sure that you do so. Uh, I'll make sure that the link goes down here. Yep, it's in the lower third. Sign up over there. We're reading, we're completing the Personal MBA, which was a really tough book to read during the summer. It's very dense, lots of material to go over. It's a good resource book to keep on your desk. Um, he's actually, the author is uh, doing a creative live, actually, who, shout out to Jennifer Kent, uh, who's in the club. She let everyone know about that, so make sure you guys check that out. Shout out to Creative Live, who's actually in the Seattle area as are we and um, so apart from the book club make sure that you're participating with our action calendar at yfe.me slash action calendar each each day we do another action um, today's action was of course to come to this live stream tonight and um, you tweet about it using the hashtag yfe chat take instagrams etc so the last piece is that next week's uh, shows are going to be really cool. So the first one, um, you know, just adding on to the coolness factor of tonight, because this is like Christmas for me. I was so excited. I'm such a fangirl of Nama's that I'm trying not to geek out too much here. But next week, we've got uh, Carla White on, on Wednesday. This is a special event, Wednesday at 9 a.m. Pacific. She's going to be talking about her new book idea to iPhone, uh, which I downloaded. I bought it on um in iTunes and I had to get her on because it was a very complete guide into how to create a mobile app and she's suggesting that all female entrepreneurs really look at mobile. And um, on Thursday, Amanda Russell, who YFE has been a big fan of since our beginning, Amanda Russell just came out with a new website and she's getting people fit online. She's a huge YouTuber and uh, she's going to be on next Thursday so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. 
So with that said, um, yes, and thank you all for showing up live. Just to give a couple shout outs, cause because we can event. Um, I've seen you on Facebook today. Thank you so much for showing up live. She's saying that it's a great book and adding it to her list. And hello, Sandy Sidhu. She's fantastic. If you guys haven't checked her out yet, she's sidekick marketing PM. Did I get that right, Sandy? Um, so anyway, going into tonight's guest bio, Nama Bloom is the founder of Hello Flow. Hello Flow was born to deliver, and this is the, her, the, an excerpt of her about page, because I don't want to go over too much about what this company is. I really want to get our questions answered here. So Hello Flow was born to deliver what a woman needs when she needs it. This is her copy, right? So what um, just to give you like an overview of what I see when I look at it, it's someone, it's a box that's delivered to you monthly when you when you are about to get your period, <laughs> and it has tampons and anything that you need, and it's customized to um, based off of your experience with your period. So you can choose a plan; it's really easy to use. And so the copy that she uses for her about page is. Hello Flow was born to deliver just what a woman needs when she needs it. We do it with care and appreciation for the sensitivity of this purchase, and we do it with excellent technology to make sure your Hello Flow care package ships when you want it with what you want. So really straightforward, simple, says exactly what it is, care, um, discre uh, discreet shipping, um, that type of stuff is all over her website. So without Further ado, Nama, thank you so much for showing up uh, tonight for YFE Chat Live. Thanks for having me. Excited to be here. Yeah, so I'm excited to have you on. So like we were saying in the chat, you've had over 5 million views on this ad. It's a, it's an ad um, called Camp Gyno on YouTube. Is, did it only push out to YouTube? Um, you know, we have it on our homepage as well, um, but really, it, you know, the... It went live two Sunday nights ago around midnight, so really very early Monday morning. And on uh, Monday, you know, probably around 8 or 9 in the morning, I sent an email to, you know, a pretty large group of people. Um, uh, one, one is a women's entrepreneur listserv that I'm a part of. And I sent the email with the link. And my subject line was, you know, a laugh and ask and a, I don't even remember what, but basically I said, like, please watch this. I think it's really funny. It's for my company. Um, and if you think it's good, can you please tweet or put it on Facebook? And if you think it's good and you have friends who happen to work uh, for media companies, please, please, please send them. And then I sent a list of the media companies, you know, the online blogs that I was particularly interested in. Um, so how many emails did you send in total once it went out? Um, I mean, the, that listserv probably has about 500 women on it. Um, and then I probably sent maybe another 20 or 30. And then, of course, I put it on my Facebook and, the, you know, Hello Flow Facebook and stuff. But Well, and it's funny that you mentioned that, that there was work after you published it because, you know, you didn't just put it out there and hope that someone picked it up, although I'm sure someone would have. Um, Women 2.0, which I'm sure you follow, yeah. they just came out with a how-to viral video, basically, post. And the, yeah. the woman that was on it was the How to Dance, in case any of you haven't seen the post. Um, uh -huh. And she tracked, basically, the work she put into getting that video to go viral and how it happened. And she, too, was saying how important it is to reach out to bloggers and media, people within the media. So now, you know, five, five million people have watched this. I think the question that all of us have is, did it convert to sales? Um, so yes, absolutely. Um, I have more subscribers now than I had before, and in fact, you know, I keep adding them. At, you know, before when I had just launched my product in March, um, the only marketing I was doing was sending out review boxes to bloggers, um, and you know that. Get, definitely gets you some traffic, but you know it's kind of slow and steady. Um, so yes, I mean a day now is like a few months before, you know. So um, so that's been real. It's been really great. Um, more importantly, is all of the feedback I've gotten from people who want to be customers but I don't have the product mix for them yet, which I knew, you know, I always knew was going to be. Um, a problem going into it but you know Jen as I was telling you before we went on air um, you know 
before I launched this video, this was still, you know, this little business that I was still proving to myself and to other people that there is a real need for it. So since I was packing boxes myself, I needed to rely on what was readily available and um, I wanted to be very streamlined, so I only offered one set of products, which are Tampax Pearl and Always. But I knew prior to launching the video that I would need to launch organics very quickly. So I had already started working on um, getting organic suppliers, but decided to launch the video anyway because I was ready to launch the Period Starter Kit, which is another, it's a one-time purchase product, not a subscription. Um, and it's designed for younger, you know, for parents to get for younger girls. And I just thought it really works so well with the video that um, I thought there's no harm in launching before I'm ready with organic products in the subscription. Well, I think it's funny. I noticed that um, on your website, the the period starter kit, and a lot of my uh, the people I follow. I used to be a high school drill coach, and so yeah. the sisters of the people that I coached earlier on. I saw all the parents saying, oh, I bought one for when, you know, she gets her period yeah. or something like that. And so people are already interpreting that in it. So it's almost yeah. like you're validating your assumption by just putting it out there. Yes, yes. So in the period starter kit, it was easier for me to be prepared with um, an organic option and a regular option. Um, you know, the work involved in creating that product, of course, was I partnered with a um, an MSW, you know, a therapist to write the content that goes in there because we have inside of that kit, there's a letter to parents about how to approach the topic and talking to your daughter. And then there's also, um, you know, like a little pamphlet for the girls in addition to all sorts of other, you know, goodies that one might want. Well, it's a smart idea. So, I mean, on that, on that note, you were talking about how this is like a, your small little company that you wanted to just see if it would work. It was an idea that you've had for years. Um, and now, and I read an article that, uh, that you explained, it was a year, an idea that you've had for years. And, but in the meantime, when you were saying, I wish I could do this, or I, I should do this, yeah. a lot of other people did it. <laughs> and yeah, so, so mm -hmm. but I think there's, uh, so I want to talk about that in just a moment, but before we get too far away from this little idea, uh, to uh, Tori Johnson, who is Good Morning America's deals girl. A lot of you guys that are watching live probably saw her segment on with us earlier in the year. I think it was last year. She was talking about a million viewers that are watching Good Morning America and the work that prepare, you know, goes into preparing to have your product on for 20 seconds on this one show that's never seen again. So it was a lot of a lot of work and how many sales and you had to have a huge server and just like lots of support and all this stuff. So for you, Unexpectedly, this video goes to f over five million views in a week. What kind of <laughs> what kind of uh, actions did you take to prepare for this, and what does it look like now? Right. So it's funny. The night before we launched it, um, I was on the phone with the two tech people who were helping me, and I said, "You know, I think we should up our server bandwidth. Like right now, we're set up to handle about." 180 concurrent visitors. I know I'm being overly optimistic here, but I feel like we should up it, like maybe double it or something. Um, and one of them was going to be on an airplane the next day, and he said, you know, I don't think we need it. Why take on that expense? And I said, you know what, you're going to be flying, and I, like just so that I can sleep better, I would rather spend the $60 or whatever it is this month to have a little bit of, um, you know, Leeway. Um, thank God we did that, but we still were down for two hours on Monday night. You know, our whole system went down. I saw it all happen on Twitter, the response, and on Facebook. People were saying, yeah, it was, like, it was all of a sudden, it almost exploded. Like, it was building and building and building. Um, and, I, you know, you could watch now with Google Analytics, you could watch real time analytics, so you see exactly how many people are on the site. So I saw. But, you know, interestingly, what happens with Facebook, uh, not Facebook, with YouTube, is the counter that shows how many times the video has been watched, it doesn't, it freezes at 301. Yeah. <laughs> and I had no idea about that. So here I was watching all the traffic, assuming there's a lot of, you know, a lot of videos being watched, but I have no real idea of how many were being watched. And then 
as soon as it got on Jezebel and um, it, it just basically exploded. <laughs> I know you got on some really top like female yep. power type websites that was perfect for your audience. Is that something that you had that was like a goal of yours that was part of the media people that you wanted to get in touch with? Yeah, I mean my top, uh, the top target for me was Jezebel. And uh, was that someone that you got through a connection or did the, the writer? I think what ended up happening, honestly, I don't know how it ended up on Jezebel. I mean, maybe someone in my network passed it on. Um, you know, they have a little, a, the reason I wanted Jezebel is obviously it's female focused and it's a widely read blog, um, but they have this period stories section on Jezebel. So I thought like I actually had a shot. Um, but the first real hit was I got an email at about 10 or 10.30 in the morning from a reporter at Adweek saying, I want to make this the ad of the day. Can you answer a few questions? And so, you know, once you're recognized there, you have all these people in the agencies and in the media world who are seeing it, who are all in New York. So as I was watching on Google Analytics, I was seeing like it was really in New York, but it wasn't moving out of New York for quite a few hours. And I just kept thinking to myself, I need to get this out of New York. Because, <laughs> you know, like once, you know, in New York, I was dealing with people who were looking at it because like, oh, it's interesting advertising, not necessarily because uh, they're my customers. Well, you know what I mean? yeah, I knew I, media needed to see it. Media is based in New York. So. Well, and we have a couple of questions in the chat and I'm going to get to them, I promise everyone, in just a moment. But so we are talking about looking at Google Anal Analytics. The first few days, did you just sit and babysit your numbers? Basically, I didn't. Um, it was that and there was a crazy influx of emails. So. I bet. Um, well, that's a question a little bit later. So when I first emailed you, I read the fast or the co-create um, article, yep. and I just jumped on it and emailed you right away. Um, but it was still just a founders at Hello Glow email. And now I looked again, and it's you. Were, you're working with a PR company. So is that someone that you thought in advance I should, I should have that ready? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> So I did have a friend who had another full-time job who, you know, is a PR person who was, you know, helping me along the way thinking things through and she sent it, you know, before the video launch, she had emailed it to one or two people. Um, but, you know, then I got inundated um, and not just from press, but also from customers, you know, or people who want to be my customers and want to tell me, you know, I want to sign up, get organic, or I want to sign up, get Kotex, or, you know, use cardboard applicators, any number of things, or, you know, ship to me in Canada or ship to me in the UK. You know, I, I got so many emails like that and also the press emails. Um, and I had mentioned earlier, I'm on this women's networking group, um, and someone there who has a PR firm, Meredith Feynman, who's the one who I'm using, emailed me and said, I bet you're drowning. This is a really good opportunity and I don't want you to lose it. Let me help you. Um, and you know, she was right. I was drowning. I'm still a little bit drowning because now I have to set up operation, you know, fulfillment operations for a much larger business. So it can't be in the kitchen. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. I like. And this whole story is just crazy. I mean, I've heard about it. I've read about it with Birchbox, and you know they're fulfilling. They have friends sitting around in a room and just stuffing boxes. Is that kind of what it looks like right now for HelloFlow, or do you have something a little bit more uh, robust? Um, well, what we did the I think by the second day, I realized I wasn't going to be able to do it out of my home. <laughs> I mean, it's funny. The first day in the morning, I was like okay, I need to run out to Costco, I need to order boxes, I need to get all this stuff taken care of, because I was still in the mindset that I was just getting a few customers and I would do it at home. Like, it didn't dawn on me what was happening. Um, and then, you know, by the next day, that became it became obvious that there was no way that was what was going to happen, um, because I simply wouldn't have, I can't send that many boxes every day, and I don't have enough room once the boxes are made. <laughs> to keep them in the house. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, I quickly, st you know, started scrambling uh, for a fulfillment center. And I think, you know, 
we're, I'm visiting a couple next week. But you know what? I think the important story here or the important lesson is that you don't have to have all of your ducks in a row in order to put something out into the world. Basically, what you did was a, a little bit of a, a Herculean type of validation in that, yes, this is a good idea. People are going to want this. Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't know if you, you're familiar with the book Lean Startup. Of course. Right, so, I mean, this. right, so um, I'll admit now I have not read it, but I know <laughs> a lot of the concepts. Um, you know, obviously, like, I've read blogs and all that kind of stuff, so I have not read the book. But what I, lo- what I have up there now is my MVP. You know, it's my minimally viable product. I was not expecting, you know, I was expecting the video to attract some attention, but I wasn't expecting what I got. I love that. I think that's just a great reminder for all of us because I feel like, especially for young female entrepreneurs in specific, um, we tend to kind of want everything to be perfect, our web copy to be perfect, all of the order. We don't want to put something out and think, oh my gosh, someone's not going to like this. But in reality, you just have to get something out and hear people's feedback. Um, So along with those lines... And just one other thing I want to say about yeah. that is um, if you're doing it by yourself, like with no money, like how I am doing it. That was what like, I was just going to ask. Um, you don't have a choice of having perfect. So I have a lot of people helping. I mean, the video was my biggest marketing expense, but I think people think I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on it. I spent well below 10000 on it. Um, because I begged, borrowed, borrowed and steal, stole. Like I convinced people to work on it. I got the right people, um, you know, me and one of the writer directors came up with the idea. He fell in love with it. He took it to a friend who fell in love with it and they, they helped assemble the team or they really did assemble the team to make it happen and got people totally in love with the story and people wanting to work on this video for free. Um, so, you know, it's that the production quality is incredibly high because I managed to work with people who were able to convince like top of the line professionals to volunteer their time on the project. So just to just to clarify, you finance this all yourself. You haven't gotten any outside. Man- Do you plan on doing any type of fundraising? Um, you know, it's always in the consideration set. Um, you know, right now I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to make all this happen. Like, obviously, I have a short-term need um, for money for inventory, um, but you know whether I bring in outside financing or just find a way. Well, you know what struck me as really interesting with this? Because I didn't know what the ad was for before I read the co-create thing. I just saw the picture of it and on Facebook. And um, once once I found out what it was, I've not too long ago I spoke with someone who's uh, big in our in an incubator here in the Seattle area and it was a mentor there and he got in touch with me to to speak in front of young female entrepreneurs and he was doing a similar business as you um, Uh as there are you know a number of them out there but he the way that he spoke about the business and it was just awkward hearing it from a man I don't know why what it was I know I should be more you know like oh any this, this is it was just awkward hearing him talk about periods and women and it just didn't seem very authentic. So anyway, uh, I was doing a little bit of research and this is an $8 billion a year industry and it's a subscription box model too which is really attractive to investors. And he was explaining to me that it's easy to get um, something like this started because people are interested in getting into your box, right? That's a great marketing tool. They want to get their product a sample in it so it's delivered to someone's home. Is yeah. that something right now? I, you guys, you're keeping it very simple, which I really appreciate. With it's just you know, it's sending them love, but it's you know tampons and um, and a couple pieces of candy or something like that. Do you plan on bringing in that marketing piece into the box? Um, you know, potentially, but only only products that I believe in or that are appropriate. So, for instance, um, you know, I've been. You know, I've been running this since March, and like the bane of my existence every month is finding a good treat. (laughs) Really? Every month I'm totally stressed out about it because I want something really interesting and new and that maybe everyone hasn't tried. You know, just 
and something good, right? So um, I, I spend a lot of time sourcing that. Um, now I have much more inbound coming to me I of people who want to supply. Everyone wants to be in that right? box. So right it's, it's very different. Like before I was begging people to sell wholesale to me so that I could afford to keep them in my box without losing money. And now I have a different opportunity, which is that I have some really great, you know, producers who are saying like, I'll give it to you for free or let me pay to be in there because we want, um, we want this audience to trial the product. So um, it's interesting because, you know, I've gone from begging people to send me samples so I can try to now having people saying, can I send you samples so you can try? Yeah, that's got to feel good. <laughs> and it's all yeah. very exciting. So before I let you go, because we have a lot of activity going on in Twitter, and I should say, um, if you have any questions, at the Stacey Harris is on at YF Entrepreneur, I believe. Uh, make sure that everyone, if you're watching live now, at the Stacey Harris, she gave me a big tip about uh, Twitter, Twitter chat or tweetchat.com on the mobile version. So if you're on your phone, use it. Fantastic. Love her. Follow her. Um, so if you have a question, tweet it out or um, chat it in and Stacy will hopefully try and find some way to get it to me. Um, but so on the lines of um, the marketing and business opportunities, one of the things that I did see was that, you know, capitalizing on movement or on um, on momentum. So mm -hmm. you've got a blog, whether it's a video like uh, Camp Gyno or if it's a blog post or whatever it is. Uh, and it, people are coming to you, you want it to be more than just, you know, okay, sign up for this because it's not going to appeal to everyone. You know, you're one product, but you have over 5 million people looking at it. So last I noticed, you've now got a Red Badge of Courage t-shirt and yep. the Queen Bee song is a video or a, a, an MP3 download. You can buy it for a dollar, right? Yeah. So, um, the, the Queen Bee song, it's actually pretty funny. So when we recorded <laughs> the video, um, we, like the first cut we used, I think the song that we used, that rap, it was a Jay-Z song. And I said to the writers, directors, we can't do this because they're going to like issue a cease and desist notice to me. It's not, you know, this is a for-profit venture. They're going to ask for royalties. I can't use someone else's music. Um, Luckily, after the first cut of the video was edited, one of the directors showed it to a friend of his who happened to be a composer, and he was like, I want to write the score for this. So he wrote the score for it, and then we worked on the um, rap, and they kept sending me versions, and I kept being like, oh, it's too slow, or it's this, or it's that. And then they sent me a small sample of the Queen Bee, and I was like, oh my God, that's great, that's perfect, let's do it. <laughs> um, and all they recorded was that small sample that was in the video. And then the emails started coming. Like, I've been searching all over, where is this song, who sings it, I want this song. So um, I emailed them and I said, look, you know, these guys didn't get paid for making this movie, uh, for making the video. I was like, you should finish the song, people want to buy the song. Um, so that's where that song is from. Um, it's not the proceeds aren't coming to me. It's they're going to the people who wrote it. Of that's course. awesome. Well, where can people find that song? Because people um, are on the chat asking. The, the link right now uh, on YouTube, right under the video, you can see there's a link to download the song. Um, and also on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash go hello flow. Um, you can find the link as well. Um, and then the t-shirt just came about, you know, all of a sudden Red Badge of Courage was a trending hashtag and people were really into it. Um, and again, this is something like, um, I didn't actually create and print them, but one of my friends who's a really talented designer, I said to her, do you think we, could, we should whip up a t-shirt on this? And there's a company called WeSpring, um, which, you know, you don't have to buy any inventory. You basically, I mean, basically they make the money on the shirt. Uh, you know, it's, it's a revenue split, but heavily weighted for them. But um, I really just, people were into this whole red badge of courage. So I thought, oh, maybe we could just make a t-shirt. It's pretty easy. All, all we had to do was upload the design. Um, so, and my friend Kim loves doing things like that. So... I love that. Well, you know, and a lot of all of this story, um, what I'm hearing from it is, 
and hearing you and reading the articles and looking at your website, there was a strong, and again, this is such a cliche, like entrepreneur thing to throw out there, but there was a strong why behind everything that you've done. You're really passionate about, passionate about this project. And it sounds like you talk about it with everyone. I mean, the whole concept of the video I read was you sitting at a table with your friends, right? Yep. And, and over Thai food and a bottle of wine or something like yep. that, and you came up with it. Yeah, so um, what happened was, the Pete Marquis, who's um, one of the writer directors, um, he worked at an ad agency at the time, and he is dating a friend of mine. And I knew I wanted to have a video for the business, and this was before I even launched the Hello Flow site. Um, and I said to her, "Do you think Pete might be interested in coming over for dinner? Like, I'll, you know, we'll order in, and I just want to pick his brain about making a making a video. Um, he, you know, I don't know who else to turn to, and he might know." And um, so they came over for dinner one night, and I, you know, my background is marketing, and the way you get things done in marketing and figure out marketing campaigns is by thinking about, or at least the way I do it, and the way I think good marketers do is, you know, you think about what's the customer insight that's really going to resonate, and what's the sort of universal experience of this type of customer, and. So I started thinking like, okay, what's universal about getting your period and what, what do most women have in common and what's the experience like at different points? Um, and I, you know, came, you know, I started talking about this, like everyone has someone who knows more and whether the girl really does know more or you just believe she knows more, we all have someone in our life that knew more and my person was at sleepaway camp. And that was when he said, oh, so she was like, you know, the camp guy. No, she's, the, you know, because I was saying, you know, she's the one who taught us all how to use tampons. And, <clears throat> and as soon as he put the two words camp guy no together, it became very clear, like, we're in love with this idea and we have to make this idea. Well, I, yeah, I mean, but all of this, all of the, the connect the dots, it was just, it's all a very creative project and it's something that it seemed like everyone really loved and there was something, like you're saying, it, there's something bigger behind all of it and so it seems like people are jumping at working with you, um, whether it's creating a video for free or, or wanting to score the, score the, yep. <laughs> the video. Um, I don't know, you just don't hear that very often. It feels like everything, it feels like you were really lucky without you know without a better word to use there but it feels like you were really lucky do you feel like you were really lucky or is I'm um, sure there's a long story of a lot of work behind that yeah luck. so I definitely I I would more say I feel blessed than I feel lucky like um this has been it's been a lot of work so like when you tell the anecdotes of it, it sounds like, oh yeah, it all just came together. And in certain ways, certain things about the video did come together in a way that was far better than I could have ever imagined. But you know, a few weeks before the video launched, I called a friend of mine and I was like, should I not do this business? I'm not able to get any traction. I like, I'm out of money. I can't spend any more of my family's money. I need to start earning a salary. Um, you know, so, it, so it's been like actually such a rough emotional, um, <laughs> roller coaster for the last six months. Um, that's what so, we all need to hear though. We need to hear, cause I'm sure I am in that place right now where it's just kind of like, what the H-E double hockey six am I doing right now? <laughs> I mean, um, I, I, every at least once an hour I have a major moment of doubt about whether or not I can do this or whether or not like yeah you know like I'll find myself saying okay you got all these customers but you know are they really going to stay or are they going to cancel and is this really not a business and maybe I shouldn't do it like I have those moments all day long and then I have the moments that are like oh my gosh like look at what I've done this is amazing I can't believe I'm getting customers and I can't believe People want to listen to what I have to say and people are trusting me and people are like writing me emails thanking them for being able to talk to their daughter now about their period you know so I go back I really do go back and forth and you know I um, I spoke to my friend's husband this weekend uh, who's you know in the investment community and I wanted to just understand like how, how do I go about doing what I'm trying to everything I'm trying to do 
And he said, you know, uh, my wife told me that you called her three weeks ago and we're about to throw in the towel and start looking for a job again. Like, this is so crazy. Um, so, you know, I, it's been a roller coaster. It really has been. Well, on so. that note, I don't want to keep you too much longer because it's late there. And if you guys have been following Hello Flow, like I have been, I told my mom that you were going to be on the show one day and the next morning you were on The View. <laughs> she texted me and she said, oh my goodness, Hello Flow, isn't that who's going to be on your show? Whoopi Goldberg just said she loves her. <laughs> That's yeah, crazy. It's been, yes, it's been crazy. I mean, it really, um, you know, the video really touched people um, in a way that, you know, obviously we were going for, but we didn't, um, we didn't expect. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's been amazing. And the people I've spoken to and the different, um, the, the press, like we have a, uh, we're going to be on another show coming up. I don't know when it's going to be, but, um, they're doing a really great segment about girls and their period and their first period. So, like, the other thing is, at the end of the day, I mean, I want this to be a hugely successful business, and I want this to be my job, like, more than anything. Um, but at the end of the day, if nothing else happens, I change the dialogue in a way that, you know, I feel like people have been trying to change the dialogue for a long time. So I'm incredibly proud of that. Um, so in my moments of doubt, I just think like okay people are now not afraid to say the word vagina or period um and sort of tell it like it is and be more straightforward and I feel like that's an accomplishment and I have to just be okay with what if that's the only accomplishment that's okay I love that and you know what I feel like big things are going to be continuously coming up with around around hello flow because I just think the brand is just You've done things in such a different way as far as your messaging and the way that you package it too. None of the other competitors do it. And it seems so just like, well, duh, you can't just charge $28 for something and all women have a different experience. And so anyway, before I get into it too much longer, I want you to you know, be able to relax with your family because I'm sure you've got a lot of other appearances tomorrow. But Nama, thank you so much for being on. I, Like I said, I'm a huge fan girl, girl of yours. Hopefully everyone else will catch all of your appearances now too. So in the meantime, where can we follow you on Twitter and on, you know, find Hello Flow, that type yep. of thing? So um, Hello Flow is at Hello Flow. It's F-L-O. Um, and I am at Nama Bloom, N-A-A-M-A-B-L-O-O-M. Um, and our Facebook is Facebook slash Go Hello Flow, G-O Hello Flow. Um, and yeah, we're excited to start simplifying the periods of many, many women. I love it. Simple, thank straightforward, you. but thank you so much, Nama. I really appreciated chatting with you today, and thank you so much for being honest with us, too, about the, the difficulties and everything in between. My pleasure. Thanks for having me, Jen. All right, so we've been talking with Nama Bloom, who is the founder of HelloFlow. Everyone, thank you so much for showing up live tonight. I really appreciate it. I'm going to jump on chat with you uh, shortly if you're watching the recorded version of this. If you could do me a favor and tweet it out, share it with your friends, make sure that everyone hears this message because it's one that's important, right? She, There was not always 5 million plus people interested in her business. She had moments of doubts, and I think we all need reminders of that every once in a while, even when we're doing really well in our business. Uh, so again, thank you all for showing up live. My name is Jennifer Dono. You've been watching the YFE Chat Live. Like I said, I'm really excited to jump on Twitter with you. We'll keep the video rolling, and hopefully you'll show up next week again, Wednesday at 9 a.m. Pacific, um, what's that? 11 Eastern? I can't do the math that fast. 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 <laughs> Eastern. Oh my gosh. Um, Carla White is going to be on who is going to talk to us about creating apps. She thinks that every young woman should create an app for their business. And then um, Thursday is Amanda Russell with who's going to get us in shape, talk about fitness, talk about um, using, bringing that into video, using online space, all that fun stuff. So again, thank you so much for showing up. Make sure that you subscribe to YFE Chat on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash YFE Entrepreneur and search for YFE on iTunes. By the way, a new cover art, so I'm not like awkwardly doing this anymore. So it's a good one. All right, thank you so much and have a great week.